Hello everyone! Welcome back to my Pokemon Shield Nestlock. We're on part three. I grinded a tiny bit. Chunky's level seven, Twiggy's level ten. Just to make sure nothing bad happens. And I kinda just wanna go through the, these guys. And get to the next part, because we haven't got there yet. Got some paralyzed heals. I'm glad they're giving us that stuff early. So finally, made it past the Wooloos. Bye, Wooloos. <gasps> Charizard! Hello there. Rawr. Cool. And they're looking at Leon over here. Hey, Leon. Well done, you reached a goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. Yeah, we learned that. See how your word is already grown? All oh, thanks to having Pokemon with you. So like, was I not allowed <laughs> past my house because I didn't have a Pokemon? <laughs> is that what you're telling me? I know, I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now where do we go? Ooh, I always love okay they did so good with all the areas in this game I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia everything in here looks fascinating but work uh, a little yamper I didn't forget its name for a second what is it Leon looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon I wish you would stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day, when I got lost on the road. So she never evolved him? I guess she thought it was too cute. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyways, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Manu. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set, set her on the right path, would you? Little heart butt. <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. No wonder he gets lost. All the time. Oh, looks like you got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They got a map and a navigational... Navigation tool. I don't know why I was going to say navigational, but whatever. Same thing. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? Oh my god, yes. In that case... I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your random phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Did you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. So, we get to go get another Pokemon? We might have to do some shopping though. Oh. Yes, I did leave the lab. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Thanks. I actually used a potion while training Chunky, so <laughs> that's a good thing. So, I don't think there's anything useful in the first town. Oh, got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet, meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we got Pokemon Centers. 
Oh my god, yes. I know what they are. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need a- Uh. You're wasting my time. I know what they are. I know what they're for. Level with me, Manu. This is your first time at a Pokemon Center? No. I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you do get to Pokemon Trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Heading Route 2. Yeah. Um. How much money I got? How do you see? Money? Where's my thingy? Okay. I guess we'll just check here. Oh, <laughs> uh, here to buy. I'm at 31,000. I have four potions. No antidotes. I don't remember if anything could poison you here, but I'm just gonna buy that just in case. Better have these for ahead of time. You you never get frozen. Um There's revives already? Oh my goodness. I should buy more potions, but to be honest, we're just gonna quickly slide to the shop. <laughs> No point changing the undershirt, right? Do I want a different hoodie? But then again, mine's pretty cute. What am I even- Okay, I'm wearing a dress. Oh my god, I really shouldn't because some of these are so expensive. <laughs> and you can't even see these. Okay, we got some- Oh, but then they're more expensive the more I get down. Oh, but the socks aren't that expensive. Buy this. <laughs> I hate the noise it makes there because it sounds like I clicked no. Sorry, mom. Actually, no. Phone, no. Phone's being noisy. Turn that down. I can buy a different color beret. I kind of like these cap caps. Caps. Oh. What color? Ooh, the purple's kind of cute. Let's go purple. No, I think that's good for now. We have lots more shops to see. Now I look a little different. Okay, now that <laughs> I bought some stuff, let's buy a few more potions. <laughs> Probably the, the first thing I should be buying, but we're gonna put like maybe the 10. 10's a good number. Okay, let's head out. Oh, he's gonna stop us again. Hey there, if you're a Pokemon train, you must. You must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Yes. The animal competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge a champion. But the tricks is that you gotta be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't, Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up, the, up to snap. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. Take part two. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing after all. Keeps you motivated, right? Professor's house and wait at Route 2. We already know that. Jeez. Stop st stop stopping me. What are you looking at? Okay, he's just pointing out. Professor's house is over there. Route 2! Over here. What are you gonna give me? Uh, Alright, time we filled in our teams a bit. Oh! Hi there! He's here to teach me how. But I already caught one. Yeah, I already caught some. Mom gave me those Pokeballs, did she? Oh, okay, that's where I got them. 
I'll give you some more Pokeballs. Heck yes. Thank you. 20? Oh boy. We can't mess this up, right? Pokemon team will get EXP points if we catch them too. Yeah. And of course, EXP from battle. Yep. Keep on changing, growing stronger, no doubt. Especially if they die. Whoo! So the champion is something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. And I am going to go off screen. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm so worried. And let's go in. It wouldn't be that bad if it's a Choodle. <gasps> okay, I ran into a Rookity. I wasn't expecting to run into a Pokemon that fast. Oh my god! I went back with the footage and saw the Pokemon I missed. I ran right by a Nitwick and like a Wulu and all that. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> I got Chunky instead. Whoa, wait. That was a good... Uh... I don't know what Power Trick does though. So maybe he's just using it wrong. It's not doing enough damage to me. Okay. That should be good now. I, I have confidence. So route two! We got a rickety. Oh, what do I name it? Nice. Uh, tiny bird Pokemon jumping nimbly about. The small body Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorientate larger foes. I don't know why I read this one, didn't read the rest. We'll never know. Um, it's gonna be a Corviknight. And it's a girl. This is the first girl on my team? I don't remember checking Chunky, to be honest. I think it's a dude. Ah, Rookity. Rookity, rookity, rookity. But something sharp. Ooh. <laughs> I guess rapier. I don't know. It's kind of an elegant sword. I think I spelled it right. I hope I did. Wow, I like... As soon as I stepped into the grass. Repair. So... I should name it S-Stock. Dang it! Okay, so it's neutral. Has keen eye. Okay. Like Sith rash about. I didn't even check that. What's the personality of my other ones? Check summary. You like to nod off a lot. That's very fitting for you, Chunky. You are a boy. And he likes to run. So yes, all very fitting. <laughs> could've caught- I could've caught Yamper here. I forgot. Corviknight should be useful though. I'm gonna show you guys what Chunky is made out of. Because he like actually held his own during the wild Pokemon. I was gonna say he's gonna use the Squavit, but of course he is. Look at his shirt. He's just taking giant bites of this covet. Holy crap. Nice. And luckily, that's free EXP for repair. Ooh, Pokeball. I'm gonna assume I'm strong enough for the fight. 
Because you do fight. Uh, dude. 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 Hop. That's his name. You do fight Hop. <laughs> Down here. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I should be good. Come on, Lauren. Show me what you got. <laughs> you got Choodle! <laughs> I didn't play through my game with Choodle. That's only because my starter was Salvo, so I was thinking no point in having two water types, right? Oh my goodness. Well, uh, my Chunky is definitely going to be a bulky one. That's for sure. It should be. You see all the chunk? I think it's more chunk when he evolves, but I'm I'm getting a good feeling about my team so far. Oh, especially if we can get Corviknight. <laughs> Those freaking rookies that were just watching us. <gasps> oh. Wait, does this still count as Route 2? Is the house different? I don't know if the house is different. Oh, I forgot about Blip Bug! Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about him. No, don't struggle bug me. Oh dear, now we're getting close. I use Bite, but he's gonna resist it. Ooh. Um, just for safety, we are going to heal up. Because I didn't get to calculate how much damage that did. Maybe it's a bad idea that I have a plushie hiding the bomb left of my TV. <laughs> like just the very, whoops, just the very corner of it. And we're going to use Tackle because honestly I forgot he's resistant to dark. I was just used to Bite being the stronger move. What do you got? A nitwick? Ah, we'll keep it. We healed you up. Might as well use you. It was funny, my first playthrough of Pokemon Shield, because I caught Nitwick. I'm like, I'm definitely Oh sorry, I've been calling Nitwick. Nick it. Litwick is a Pokemon too. <laughs> Yeah, Nicket. So I caught Nicket, and then it evolved, and I was like, "You, <laughs> I'm so mean." But I was gonna have a Dark type anyways, cause it's six again. Okay, wait. Is it still red too. Are you also map? No, it's Pokedex. Silly me. Well. I guess it still shows. This is all Route 2. Dang it. Maybe the map says otherwise. <laughs> no. No. It's all Route 2. Dang it! I'm on the Zigzagoon! So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I thought that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Hear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guest. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Her friggin' cane's a sword. That's so cool. <laughs> Or at least it looks like a sword. I know I know it's not really, but Why hop dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Manu. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Manu? Professor Magnolia's been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. It takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. 
There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are. Get it? Because it's British. <laughs> hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee we sh he should endure us. Endorse Endora. He should endure us. <laughs> Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Papa Mini only just started as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Gary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason I gave both Pokemon, in fact. Uh oh. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Thank you, Leon! I don't have to use a potion now. Okay. Now before I do that... I know a secret. Da da da! Payback! That's actually kinda good to be honest. On a slow Pokemon though. Eleven, twenty-three, fifteen. The only thing is chunky his high stat is speed. So I don't know if eventually you'll get good. I don't know. I'm too scared to give it to him. And Rookie D is already going to be higher than Chunky by the time he gets to his level. I don't know if Corviknights are fast. I would say the birds are usually fast, but he's made out of, like, steel. Ooh! Free Great Ball! Oh. And a bottle of fresh water. Heck yeah. No. Okay, he's not gonna make me. So, uh, ha ha. I'm gonna leave you on this cliffhanger. <laughs> and you're gonna have to join me next time to see my battle against Hop. Um, I hope you guys are. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the series and thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.